Um, we call it Oshima roll here, named after a Japanese player named Oshima who does this very well. It's a variation of what we will call Omitori Gaishi, okay, which when you hold the, the belt and you turn the person over. So, Uke is in a turtle position. Okay, why don't you guys go over there? Okay, so what I want to do, the Oshima roll, there are many variations of Omitori Gaishi, right? The version that I want to teach you is the most simple one, okay, most basic one. You're in front of Uke, right hand, just grab the belt, okay? Left hand, goes underneath and grab the belt also. So this thing is, um, this is on top of my left hand, right? It's, it's not like this. But you want to go in and you get like this. Right? And the most basic version of this technique is for me to just rotate here and then just drive. And then I need to, I need to mune katami. Okay, so let's put this way. Here, I grab here, so I and I force my way here, right? From here, there are many directions I can go, but the most basic one is to go here, perpendicular, and then drive. And then we end up in Munegatami. Okay, make sure your feet, your leg is away from Uke's legs, or else Uke is going to catch. Okay, one more time. So this is very basic, but it does work. Over here, this one furrows underneath and grabs here. Okay, so from here, I turn perpendicular and then I just drive towards Osman there. Boom. And I end up in the Okay, this is a very basic one. Let's practice this. Sometimes, if uh, Nigel knows what I'm doing, right, he knows I'm trying to. I'm trying to borrow this in. He's gonna stop me from borrowing in. I can't, I can't go in anymore. So how do you do it, right? So Oshima, the, the Japanese player, he has a, quite a unique uh, uh, tactic to get his arms in, okay? Let's turn this way a little bit. So he goes here, he's trying to borrow. Then he's blocking, he's blocking. I, I, can't, I can't get it, right? So what does he do? He just goes here first, right? This doesn't have the leverage, but look at what he does. He comes in and he does like this, and then as Nigel recovers, he gets it. Because when I when I go like this, Nigel's preoccupation is no longer blocking this. His preoccupation is to recover. When he recovers, I come in. Okay? So it's a distraction. When he's focused on getting back to the turtle position, he won't be focused on blocking the arm. So I come in here like this. Look, my arms are already in. Then I can work my way. So again. Go here, like that. You just get your arms in. Then you go here. Okay? You, you distract, okay, by knocking him to the side. When Nigel is locked to the side, when he's like this, he's not thinking about blocking this anymore. He's thinking about getting back into this position. When he comes back into this position, this is open. You just get your arms in. Once your arms is in, you can work your way slowly. Okay?